I, I start from the monkey and mirror neurons in the monkey. And uh, that's chapter basically one and two. And then in chapter three, uh, I'm explaining how we can study that in humans. Because obviously in, in humans, we, we cannot put electrodes into the, the brain of people. What we do there instead is that we can uh, put people in an fMRI scanner that measures how different parts of the brain are active. And, and what you then simply do is you ask someone in the scanner to, for instance, lift the cup and pretend that he's drinking from it so that I can map the brain regions that are active in the person that is doing it. And then I let the same person watch somebody else, like you just did, grasp a cup. I measure the brain activity that's typical for seeing somebody else. And now I can overlap these two maps, and I can see which parts of the brain are actually common to both doing something and seeing somebody else do something. And not only can I localize the parts of the brain that do that, but I can as well measure how strongly you reactivate your own actions when you see those of others. So now suddenly we can, for instance, take the cliche that men are more empathic than women, put both genders in the scanner, and see whether they indeed activate their own um, grasping for the cup program more or less than, than other people. And, and what we actually see by doing that is that uh, how empathic you are in your life actually correlates with or predicts how much you'll activate your own motor program when you see those others. So, so we start to be able to really get at what makes a single person unique in terms of how empathic you are and uh, how much they, they're activate their own motor programs in the brain while they witness the actions of others. Yeah, and then so when the, the brain regions light up uh, on the fMRI, it's kind of like in the image behind you, right? It's like yes. that's kind of like the two brains, and you're able to see what areas light up and the intensity of how they light up, and it kind of gives you insight into how the mirror neurons are, are working.